All right, just a quick update. So I've made uh, changes to Lightning Block, and I think everybody's going to really like them. So originally, um, for Lightning Block for OS 4, um, I was using a bunch of functions to get it to be kind of a randomized uh, movement of the, uh, the lightning along the blade. Well, Frederick actually created a, um, a function that did a lot of that uh, in a single function, so it really simplified it and actually added to it. Um, so taking that function and then applying it and then also just going off of uh, George Lucas's mantra of faster, more intense, um, I've got it, two new lightning blocks. So one's going to be the default. So that one will not have responsive controls. That's just if you use lockup. Um, this will be the lightning block animation. And then I also took the new function and I put it in with all the responsive controls to give a new responsive lightning block. Um, so the first one here, this is going to be the, the new default lightning block. So it's much, much faster, a lot more intense, uh, and I've been comparing it to the films um, to give it uh, kind of the right speed, the right overall uh, dancing. So, um, so what's actually happening is there's lightning dancing. Now, the concentration of it's going to be along this area, and then every once in a while it makes its way all the way to the tip. But the, the area at the tip actually happens less, and that's, again, looking at the films, the Obi-Wan scene from... Episode 2 and uh, the Mace Windu scene from Episode 3, um, I tried to match up as, as much as I can. Um, so the, the bulk of the work is in this area. It's all randomized, though. Um, and then every once in a while, the one at the end will happen uh, less frequently. So, And that was done on purpose. So one more time, this is the non-responsive version. And then I've taken the that look and I've brought it into responsive. Now for the responsive version, um, I've added uh, control. So it still has the, the turning of the hilt to increase intensity. Now the turning of the hilt, what it does is it changes the impact size, but it's the impact size is randomized still. Um, so it's uh, it does hopefully it'll show on camera. It, it, it's going to change it a little bit, and that's for the impacts along the blade. Um, so turning your hilt will change the size of those meant to be the intensity. Um, but now, uh, the original one, when you brought your blade up, it was focusing everything down the blade. After watching the film, the focusing happens more towards the center. So now when you, uh, and it's only going to be about 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Uh, the rest of the way it stays random. As you move the blade front to about 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, um, it's actually going to pull the lower one towards the center and pull the upper one down towards the center so it focuses it more in this area um, and, and the, the, the main block actually will kind of sit longer um, so it's meant to be focused and so when the blade is anywhere in these areas you can increase or decrease the intensity by turning once you get to about 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock it's going to focus it in the middle you can still also turn the hilt to change the intensity um, so hopefully that shows up on the uh, camera as well so a very similar animation in this normal position, but if I turn my health, I can actually increase the size of those impacts, or you can decrease them. And again, because they also randomize in size, it's a little harder to see, but it's, it's in there. And now, as I move that blade from 10, you'll see that it's now concentrated a lot more towards the center. So you still get a few little flicks at the top. And it's still a tiny bit at the bottom, but as soon as I move out of that range, you'll see it moves down that blade a lot further and up that blade a lot further. So it's it's just meant to be giving you just a little bit of uh, immersion. Is if you bring that blade almost upright, you're going to focus it towards the center. So I didn't want to overly uh, constrict it because I, the look is what I was going for. Um, but so now the responsive control is the turning does. Uh, increase and decrease the intensity and then if you bring your blade upright you'll get that concentration of it happening more in the center of the blade so so those are going to be the two versions of lightning block coming to OS 4 um, so they'll, they'll be uh, the, the both of them have the default animations built in so you don't have to worry about building those um, but uh, thanks to Frederick for coming up with the new function to really give it 
that uh, faster, more intense uh, look. So uh, I've spent a while comparing it to films and putting it all together. Really excited about it. Um, and this one is worlds better than where we were, and I, I enjoyed the last one, but this one looks so much closer to the film now. So uh, a lot more to come. Uh, OS4 is still in the works. Um, I know a few people have asked, uh, both Facebook and, and through my uh, messenger, it's, uh, it's still in development. So all the stuff I'm showing is because I'm working on it and I'm also testing it. And when I test stuff, I like to see how it looks both in person and on camera. Um, and then I'm also building up a library. So I've been doing my videos so that I have them for the library as I build it um, because I want to be able to include them. And the videos actually take the longer part in some cases because uh, trying to get it perfect. Um, so it's, it's still in development. It's not even in alpha yet. Uh, I think once it's ready, because there's still pieces being made, uh, Frederick will announce an official alpha. Uh, you can play with it if you want, but I understand that there's portions of it that are still being worked on. Uh, but once it goes into alpha, then all the testing gets done and everything. So it, it's it's moving along. It's not like it's not happening, but there's just a lot involved. So um, just keep watching for updates. Uh, and once Frederick has it in a place where he's ready for everybody to get in there for testing, uh, he'll he'll definitely announce it. And I'll I'll kind of pump it up and tell everybody, hey, go check this out. So, uh, but just wanted to update everyone, especially since we're all kind of stuck in doing nothing.